Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a method called arrays in a grid. This method is usually used in year 2 for multiplication. Imagine you have the sum 24 times 2. First thing we're going to do is use our partitioning knowledge to show that we know that this number 24 is made up of 20 in the tens column and 4 in the ones column. I'm going to then lay out my grid. So I have my tens number over this side, my ones number in this column, and what I'm multiplying by over in this column. So I'm multiplying by the number 2. I have 4 1's and I have 2 10's or 20. Now in this method I'm going to be focusing on using some resources to help me and I'm going to draw some pictures of them just like you do when you were making an array in year 1. So my array for the number 4 if I was using base 10 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, but I need two of them. So this is only one row of 4, one lot of 4, and I need another lot of 4. There we have it, two lots of 4. And this is my array for 2 times 4, which is 8. Now I need to do the same with 20. So I'm going to draw a stick to represent 10, 20. We have one lot of 20, but I need two lots of 20. So I'm going to have to draw another two sticks. Each of my stick is worth 10, or rods, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So here is my array for two lots of 20. All I need to do now is add my numbers together, 40 plus 8. You can either do this in your head by adding on 8 or you could draw a number line or any other written method to get to the answer which will give you 48. So 24 times 2 is 48 and in this, in this method I'm drawing arrays in my grid to get to the answer. 